Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be taking a brief look at the wood foraging behaviors of a Polistes fuscatus paper wasp, also known as the northern paper wasp, sometimes as the dark paper wasp, because some of them are more black colored than the reddish maroon one you see here today. The Fuscatus wasps are a beneficial native species here in Indiana and across their native range in North America, which extends from southern Canada all the way down into the southern USA, mostly in the eastern states. In this brief video today, we're just going to focus on the wood foraging behavior of this wasp. And as you can see, what the Polistes like to do is find an old piece of wood that has weathered wood on it from ultraviolet damage. And that old wood is peeled off with the mandibles in strips and chewed into a pulp. And the enzymes in their saliva help break down that pulp and turn it into a great building material that's very similar to a paper mache type material. And they sculpt their nest cells with this material. And they're quite good at collecting this very rapidly. And you'll see on any old wood post or old telephone pole, sometimes patio decks or wherever there's exposed wood that has some grade weather damage on it especially, you'll see these wasps attracted to that wood. You can check out some of our other videos to see exactly how they use this wood pulp that they collect to build the cells in their nest. It's a very interesting process and they're quite fast as they do this. And you'll notice these wasps out in the wild pretty much throughout the entire nest life cycle because they continually rebuild any damaged parts of the nest or they continually rebuild new cells to lay new eggs in and raise new larvae. So they're quite busy as they do this. We're going to slow down the speed to slow motion a little bit here so you can see this wasp as it deposits fluids onto the wood. You can see the darkness of the moisture spreading out around the area where she's working. And it's interesting because the enzymes immediately begin to help soften that wood and she starts following the grain of the wood, just pulling out bits of it as she goes. And as she gathers wood pulp, she rolls it into a little ball and she flies it back to the nest. And that's what she'll begin to work on the nest with. The material will then dry out and become a very lightweight, very mold resistant, very weather resistant material that she can raise her young in. The nest material is actually so strong that you'll notice when the life cycle of that particular nest is over and the wasps abandon it for the season, oftentimes the nest will stay right where it was built for multiple seasons. Even if it's abandoned the entire time, season after season, it'll still be there. If you look back up underneath the eaves, for example, you may find it there months later. Keep an eye out anywhere you see weathered wood from now on and just see if you catch a wasp foraging. It's fun to see and understand what they're doing. That's it for today's video. As always, we appreciate you stopping by. Have a good one.